We're going to start with a local high school using a new electronic system for hall passes. Carroll High School just implemented this new system, but not everyone is on board with the change. And 2 News reporter Riley Phillips is getting answers on the new system. Riley? A former Carroll High School student reached out to us because she was concerned about how these electronic passes work. She's afraid it will impact students' health, but the principal of Carroll High School says no one will be de denied a bathroom break. The system just allows teachers to have a better understanding of how many kids are out of class at a time. Carroll High School is trying out a new system called Smart Pass. Students can request a hall pass through their Chromebooks and teachers set a timer. This way the student has to identify where they're going and how long they've been out so that if um, let's say a fire drill happens or something like that where well, we know exactly where the student is supposed to be. Principal Matt Sebleski says this could also prevent students from hanging out in bathrooms for too long or doing something they shouldn't be doing. I think we're realistic in that teenagers vape uh, and we don't want them doing that in school and if this policy helps us prevent that then, then I'm, we're all for it. But really, it was a lot more about time on task in class, less disruptions, less kids leaving class, things like that. But not everyone approves. Olivia Bartlett graduated from Carroll High School and has siblings who go there now. She believes this new system does more harm than good. It's pretty stressful. My sister said she just didn't go to the bathroom. She just held it all day because she didn't want to fight with the system. She's also worried about the health of students if they have to wait too long to take a bathroom break. Some of my sister's friends have like Crohn's disease. So they have to use the restroom a lot. However, um, if teachers can tell that you've used through the hall pass system that you have gone in periods before, they can reject your request off of that as well. But Sebleski says that's not the case and students with health concerns will be allowed to take breaks whenever they're needed. We are never going to uh, prohibit someone from from taking care of important, uh, you know, medical needs, bodily needs, whatever it is, uh, you know, there's really no change in any of that. Um, they may have to wait a couple of minutes, but even in that situation, um, if there's an emergency situation, we would absolutely accommodate that. And the school just started using SmartPass yesterday. The principal says they're doing a 30-day trial run and will make changes if needed. In the studio, Riley Phillips, 2 News.